That's not sure. Okay, let's get ready for it. Okay? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I need to take a picture of your face like this right now. I need to go wake V up, okay? Are you forgetting something? Uh, oh! Forgive me, okay? Come here. Bring it in. Mm, the most beautiful woman in the world. The most genuine woman in the world. Yeah. You're the only funds in my account. <laughs> oh, you like that one, Avi? I know you like that one. You like money. <laughs> You're the only mosquito in my mosquito net. Oh, baby. The only one that made it inside. <laughs> eh? Just stop it. Mm, the only cockroach in my cupboard, baby. Baby, stop it. <laughs> mm, I'm late for work, okay? Let me go wake V up. Okay. <laughs> So sweet. Oh. <laughs> wakey, wakey. V. It's the time to wake up for school. Alright, wake up. Let me give me a little more time. I'll wake up. You say this every day. Mm. Every morning you say this, and every morning I say this. No, young yeah, lady, yeah. you're not getting any more time. You have to get ready for school. Did you want to know where I'm going? Which one hour? Listen, <laughs> I'm going now and I'm coming back in 30 minutes. 30 minutes. When I come back, you're ready for school. Dressed, minutes. everything. Not sleep, we'll not sleep for 30 minutes. You're ready for school. If I sleep for 30 minutes, I'll do it for 30 minutes. What, what are you talking about? Come here. <laughs> <laughs> right. what, what are you talking about? Are you okay? Oh, no. Alright, why are you being so dramatic? What are you doing on the floor? I want eh? to sleep. Don't mess up the duvet. Mm. 30 minutes, I'm coming back in 30 minutes. You're ready for school in 30 minutes. Yes. No, 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 we're not negotiating. We're not negotiating. Why do sleep? I've said it, and it's the law of the land. I am the head of the house. Nandy, I want to sleep. Go sleep. <sighs> You're ready, yeah? Yes, Dad. So you start your new term today? <laughs> yes. Are you excited? Of course. I can see it in your face. <laughs> Vicky. Ma. I wasn't impressed with your last 10 reports. Um, you know I always come first position. I just got second. That's why you have to try your best to take the first position. It's true what she's saying. Okay, so your mom and I are the best at what we do. And you have to be the same. Okay? Never forget that. Okay, Dad. Alright, let's head out. <laughs> It's your bag. Bag. Don't be late. Alright. Okay. okay. Babe, you yes. know uh, tomorrow is the PTA meeting at V School, so it's your time to go. Oh, I actually forgot. That's why I'm reminding you. I knew you were going to forget. <laughs> Please, can you help me for tomorrow? I have a lot of works to do in the office. It's not a problem. I'll do it. Are you sure? Yeah, no, I don't have a lot of work to do tomorrow, so I'll do it. Be very sure you will not forget. Me forget? Are you, are you joking? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for coming into my life. Thank you for being the best husband in the world. 
thank you for being the best wife in the world as well. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. Ah. What's with this touching? What's happening? I'm keeping phone on. Checking phone. Yes. Ah, my <laughs> dude. Hey, babe. Ah. Maybe where are you going? Off to see your friend, you know? Looking fly. A friend? Yeah. Which of your friends? There's a new friend, his name is Efe. I met him through Josh. I don't think you've met him yet. Oh. But oh, babe, I'm fine. Man. Fashi. Like, I'm so handsome. Look at me. <laughs> full package. <laughs> eh, full spec. I did, you didn't even let me kneel down. You said yes immediately. <laughs> huh? Yes, no, don't kneel down. Yes. <laughs> I understand. What is this? So why are you feeling yourself? I'm feeling myself. Mm -hmm. So I'm not really. C uh, finish. I don't blame you. C finish. You've seen this handsomeness so much that I don't appreciate it anymore. Huh? Mm -hmm. But before we got married, that you are tripping on. You, um, you want to deny it? Is it lying? I have receipts, babe. I have receipts. I screenshotted those messages, babe. Yes, and it's months of them. Is it lying? Just go. Just kiss me so I can go. Mm. I know you want to kiss me. Yeah, Stop you know, right? Love you. Love you too. Bye. <laughs> Hi, baby. Am I not lucky? I'm lucky. <laughs> yeah, I've been married uh, to my beautiful wife for 12 years, and uh, we have a beautiful daughter, D. So, yeah. Wow. That's nice. Well, I'm also married with two beautiful daughters, so. so what do you do? Uh, well, I'm into real estate. My wife is into real estate as well, but we work for different companies, you know? So, yeah, real estate family. Oh, that's yeah. Good. What about you? My brother, my banking work with the bro. Oh, okay, you're a banker? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, as for my wife, let's just say... I thought you said you were married. Oh, I'm just admiring her. Nothing. <laughs> okay. You gotta be careful. Of course, nothing. Seriously, nothing, nothing. Trust me, nothing. Trust you. <laughs> So, what are you saying yourself? I was talking about how I'm a real estate guy. I was talking about how you're a banker. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Hey. You've been active, so I made you coffee. Oh, thanks. Thanks, baby. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, What's going on? You've been on your laptop working for hours now. We are working on a building project in our office. And my boss put me in charge of it. It's a huge one. If everything goes out as planned, we'll make lots of money. That is great. That's really good. Translations. Uh, that's why I'm working on a good plan for the project. I hope it turns out well. It's going to turn out great. You're the best now. Oh. Yeah, of course. But if you need any, any advice, you know, I'm a guru as well. I mean, you're the best, but I'm a guru as well. Yeah. You know? Oh, thank you, baby. I'm almost done. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, that's great. So, I'll let you concentrate on that. Okay? I hope my coffee contributes in its own way. <laughs> then we got to pray for my you were playing, so... Oh. <laughs> All right. Thank you, honey. Wish us luck, I beg. Mm. <laughs> I wish you luck. Yes. So, how was school today? Wow, school was very fine. And we had a test today. Huh, so how'd you go? Huh, it was very, very easy. Nice, nice, nice. I trust my girl. <laughs> Smart girl. Oh, really? Yes. That's supposed to give you guys ABC at this, at this no, level. No, no, I didn't say it was ABC. Okay, it was easy it was as very easy. easy. Okay. <laughs> Dad. Hmm? It's getting late and mom is not here back. 
Don't worry, she'll be back soon, okay? What happened? You're coming back really late today. Oh, I'm so sorry, darling. I had this unplanned meeting that lasted for hours, and that's why I'm coming back now. Uh, no, that's all good. That's all good. Why don't you go freshen up and join us for dinner? You know, I made a delicacy. Honey, <sighs> this smells good. Cuisine. I have to taste it. Okay, no, you can, you can, you can, you can, you can, you can, you know. <laughs> I think I'm a better cook than you. This meal confirmed mm. it. Abby, Abby. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a better cook than you. You know, I, I have to say. After this meal, I have this to say. This is something else. No, I, you right agree, right? You agree I'm better I'll than you. Right back. <laughs> <laughs> for this one, yes. Ah, is it the, that's the hunger talking. You don't mean it. <laughs> All right, babe. Oh, God. But who cooks better, me or your mom? Be honest. Be honest, okay? <laughs> I'm taking the meat. I'm taking the meat. You, you, you. No. Daddy, you. Ah. You're the best cook in the whole world. Okay, I will only take one meat now. Okay. I was going to take two of them. Thank you. <laughs> See that face, B. Don't do this thing, though. All right, take, 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 Thank take. Thank you. Oh, you're helping me. Thank you're helping you. me help you. <laughs> but somehow, um, no, nothing, no. Nothing. I will take insurance. No, no, no. <laughs> Hey, yeah. hello Hi, girls. Buddy. Where are my angels off to? We're off to a girl's day out. Yes. Oh. And from there we go to the spa, go to the salon, and we go for shopping! <laughs> just the two of you. All this fun, just the two of you. Dad. I'm not involved. Dad, this is a girl's day out and not a family meeting. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. No one like you should have fun. Enjoy yourself. Even though I'll be here bored and lonely, <laughs> alone, crying to myself. <laughs> Where we should go and have fun. Enjoy yourself. Baby, we are your girls and we need to be taken care of. Of course. Yeah, go and have fun. <laughs> no Dad, you know the phone is not complete without some money. Exactly. So we just came to collect money. Oh, <laughs> so I'm not part of the phone, but I'm part of the spending. <laughs> I see how this is set up, Abby. <laughs> ah, no wala. No wala. You get what you want. I'll do the transfer. Wow, <laughs> thank you so much. Thanks, darling. <laughs> um, baby. Uh, when you're hungry, mm. you get the food from the kitchen and sure. you microwave it, okay? Sure, 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 sure. sure All right. You buy a phone, okay? All right, honey. <laughs> See you. Bye, Dad. Bye. <laughs> Have fun. At least buy something for me now. <laughs> we will try. You try. Hey. It's a scam. How can I be spending the money and I'm not enjoying the fun? It's life in balance, so. Effie, what's up, bro? Hey, yeah, offer. Where you day? Oh, but I day kitchen for house like this, so. Ah, God, are you cooking? Ah, uh, no, not really, no, but yeah, kind of. <laughs> What's wrong with you now? Uh -uh. You're not supposed to enter kitchen, let alone cooking. Eh? You're not supposed to enter kitchen, let alone cooking. You are the head of the house. Where's your wife? Well, my wife uh, prepared some food, but she stepped out, so I'm just in the kitchen about to warm up uh, the food that she, uh, she see, made. That is what I'm saying. She should have served you that food before leaving the house. That is what a good wife is supposed to do. Serve the husband food before leaving the house. Bro, it's all good, uh -huh. man. It's, it, doesn't really, it doesn't really bother me, that kind of stuff. You know, it's all good, honestly. Wow. What? If you say so, I'm just saying my observation. Half an hour, we'll go see later in the game. But that's our usual joint. Sure, sure, of course. All right, now. We'll talk later then. All right, bro. Take care. All right. Oscar. Oscar. Honor me. Honor me. Yes, baby. Where's my food? Babe, just give me 30 minutes and I'll be done. 30 minutes? I don't know what is wrong with you now. For how long will you take you to cook the food? I've been waiting for you over an hour. Then, yet the food is not done. What 
are you cooking? Are you cooking bag of rice? Are you cooking for the whole street? What is wrong with you now? Why are you so lazy? Babe, it's not easy on me. Huh? I have to wake up early in the morning, prepare the children for school, sit, take them to school, go to market, come back and cook. Sit down and pick the children again from school. I don't have anyone assisting me. The workload is too much on me. Oh, shut up! No, 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 no. Look at how you are saying it's as if there is a big deal in it. It's not as if you are working. You don't bring any money to the house. Nothing, nothing. Then cook food. Take care of the house. No! Do no more thing all that ladies do for their husband. You can't do. Cook food. I mean, of what use are you in this house? Are you still standing there? Come on, go and get my food. Let me eat food, job. I'll wait for the whole year before I eat food in my house. Nonsense. Let me wait more before eating food. Rubbish. Come on, be useful for food. You can't, you can't even cook food. You want to be... Nonsense. All right, so it's right there up until this point, okay? Okay. All right, that's production dosis. It's really somehow. Have you thought of what you want to be in the future? Of course. Yeah? Yes. Tell me. I want to be a lawyer. You want to be a lawyer? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you want to be a lawyer? Mm, maybe because I'm a very bold girl. Yes. And I like speaking up for people. Hmm. Yes. Interesting. V the lawyer. <laughs> yes, V the lawyer. That's a nice ring to it. Yes. V the lawyer. I'm going to be a lawyer and I'll be defending people. Yes, we'll do that, but not for free. We don't work for free. No, we don't work for free. Yes, they have to pay big money. I'll be winning. <laughs> of course. That's why they're paying big money now. Hello, babe. How you doing? Yeah. Right now? Uh, okay, sure. Yeah, sure. Okay. What happened? Your mom is outside. Okay. Let's go see her. Okay. Be the lawyer. Yes. Lead the way. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Let's make a toast. Okay, I think it's appropriate to make a toast right now. <laughs> Here's to 12 years of blissful, beautiful marriage, to a love that will never fade, and to our intelligent, beautiful daughter, to all our achievements and more to come, and to more money. More money! <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guys. Love you. Wow. Even you, you said more money, Harry. This shall never lack. Yes, amen, amen. 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 Yo, chicken looks too big. No, 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 don't Let me help you fix no, that problem. Don't help me. Don't help you. Uh. I, I got my back. So you ah! got your back. <laughs> All right. Yeah, my wife bought a new car. You know, I was shocked. I didn't even expect it, you know? What's a new car and uh well I'm, she keeps making me proud. I'm so happy for her, you know. Wow. Congrats to her. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. But what? I think you need to be careful. About what? You know, women can be so dangerously, if not curtailed. What do you mean by that? The way you are saying it, your wife makes money, buy car, buy houses, and that. I'm sure very soon she'll become more richer than you. So. <laughs> I don't see that happening. <laughs> you know, I make a lot of money myself, you know. But even if it happens, it's not so bad. I mean, she's my wife. Her win is my win, you know? <laughs> it is bad. What? Very, very bad. You see, a woman should not make much money than her husband. Because the moment that happens, you as a man, you will lose the respect and the position as the man of the house. What's it with you and this man of the house position thing? You lose, you're uh, thirsty for that respect. I don't understand. Every time man of the house, man of the house. Oscar, I know what I'm telling you. I know what I'm saying. A lot of people, a lot of family has gone down because of this thing we're saying here. I'm telling you. See, so many men have, in one way or the other, helped their wife to get a job or start one business or the other. And 
the way they planned it, it worked for them. So many of them started making much money, making money. At the end of the show, what happened? It backfired. Some walked out of the marriage. Some, some men are still suffering because of this thing we are saying here. One of my colleagues, that day in the office, what did he do? He helped the wife to start up a business. The wife started traveling to China, to Dubai, to buy a lot of goods. At the end of the show, the woman started making much money than the man. And what did he do? The man, as I'm talking to you now, is a house boy. <laughs> because of what? The wife has much money than the man. And that is why, as for me, from the very first beginning I got married, I put my wife in her right position, and that is where she remains. What's that supposed to mean? It's simple. She's not working. She doesn't do any business. In fact, she's a full-time housewife. And for that, she won't make much money than me. I don't understand this, man. I can't believe you're still thinking like this. We pass the time that women are confined to the house, man. Right? <laughs> a woman can be so much more than just a housewife. Oscar. Oscar. Listen, I love that word you used, woman, not wife. Oscar, shine your eyes because the day it will happen, I will remind you that I told you. I told you. I can't believe you're saying this, man. I honestly can't believe you're saying this. Think about it and think fast. All right, let's drink up. <laughs> let's drink up. Yeah, sure, sure. Drink, drink, drink. I'm drinking. Okay. <laughs> Baby. What's up? I'm so happy. Yeah. Like, it really pays off to be hardworking, you know? Yes. Yes, it does. Okay. From the way things are going like this, baby. <laughs> I might end up buying a rose rice. Or even buy a house in Banana Island. <laughs> About what? You know, women can be so dangerously, if not curtailed. What do you mean by that? The way you are saying that your wife makes money, buy car, buy houses, and that, I'm sure very soon she'll become more richer than you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see that happening. <laughs> Oscar, shine your eyes because the day it will happen, I will remind you that I told you. I told you. I can't believe you're saying this, man. I honestly can't believe you're saying this. <sighs> Baby! I'm happy we are winning. I mean, it's not easy. We are hardworking. Mm -hmm. Look at you. Just the other day, you bought a house. Mm -hmm. And me? I, I just bought a new car. Baby, I'm happy we are doing well for ourselves. <laughs> yeah, me too, me too, man. I'm happy. You know, mm -hmm. it's really good to be super rich. <laughs> we're getting there. If we, if, we, if we keep being consistent and committed, we're getting there. We're well, there already. No, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think so. But we're getting there, you know, it's encouraging signs. I need to sleep. Uh, when you're about to go to bed, just turn off the lights, okay? Babe, I don't understand. Are you sleeping? Uh -uh. Why are you backing me? Hmm? I'm sleeping with you now. I, I know. Just turn off the lights. It's, it's uh -huh. Okay, let me turn off the lights. Oh, now. baby, calm down now. What's that? What's that? What's it? What's it? Is there a problem? Ivy, hurry up. We'll soon be leaving, okay? Honey. What's up? That reminds me. Yeah? I wanted to tell you something. What? <laughs> a billionaire wants to invest in real estate company. Okay. Guess what? What? He's considering working with our company. My boss assigned me to head the presentation. In that way, I'll be able to convince him to work with us. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Wait, what's this billionaire's name? Uh, Mr. Philip Samuel. Really? What happened? That's the same businessman that wants to invest in my real estate company. I was made the head of the presentation group that's trying to convince him. You're kidding me, right? I'm dead serious. Yeah. I'm serious. And I'm ready. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Let's go. That's wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm telling you, we both got assigned to lead the presentation group for our different companies, you know, and it's a very, very big contract. Any company that gets it, 
they change their lives. You know, <laughs> it's a contract worth millions, if not billions, wow. of naira. I'm telling you, that's serious. It is. So, what are you gonna do? Well, you know, it comes down to the fact that only one of us can win it. So, we'll see. If you ask me, that should be you. But Oscar, why would your wife be competing with you with this big contract of her thing? You said it's a huge one, meaning so much money is involved in it. Yeah. She should back down for you to win the contract for the family. Back down? Yes. She should. She should back down for you to win it. And that is what every good woman should do instead of competing with their husband. She should support you to win the contract, not competing with you. It is not right now. Oh, uh, well, I see the sense of what you're saying, you know, but her boss assigned her that job, you know, because he believes in her, believes that she can get them the contract, you know, so I don't know if she can disappoint him, you know. And that's the main reason why she should step down for you. You just said it, her boss believes in her, right? Meaning that she's good in what she does, right? Mm -hmm. With the things she just said now, she has more chances of winning that contract. And you know what that means? Or do you want her to beat in that presentation? She can't beat me. What are you talking about? Good. I taught her this game now. <laughs> what are you saying? I was Good. in this game before she started. And the only way out for us to believe in what you just said now is by telling her to step down for you and support you to win the contract for the family. Nah, she won't do that, so mm -hmm. she's not that kind of woman. She won't and do that. that is where you will come in. That is where you exercise your power as the head of the family by telling her to step down or do it. Next thing, I don't know if you have thought about how you will feel when she finally wins this contract. Did you know? One, you will feel like you are a failure, a loser. And she, on the other side, will start feeling like a box. Now, let me tell you, if she wins you on this contract, she will feel like she wins everywhere. And you, you have totally lost your respect as the man of the house. Do you know one thing? Let me tell you, by the time she starts buying cars, houses from this contract, hmm? my brother, I don't think if you, you will stand to what will happen. She will insult you, she will not respect you as a husband, you will automatically lost every single thing as the man of the house. My brother, think before you make a mistake, you will forever regret your life. But Oscar, why would your wife be competing with you with this big contract of her thing? And that's the main reason why she should step down for you. You just said it, her boss believes in her, right? Meaning that she's good in what she does, right? Mm -hmm. With the things she just said now, she has more chances of winning that contract. One, you will feel like you are a failure, a loser. And she, on the other side, will start feeling like a box. Now, let me tell you, if she wins you on this contract, she will feel like she wins everywhere. And you will have totally lost your respect as the man of the house. What? Are you trying to tell me to step down from heading the presentation? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying, actually. No, you can't head the presentation. You can't even be among the team that's going for the presentation. You know, that's just how it has to be. We can't go against each other. That's not right. How? How do you mean? How are we going against each other? I mean, either of us is going to win, and that will be good for our family. Besides, what do you want me to tell my boss? He has already assigned me to head this presentation. What, what do you want me to tell him? Tell him anything that you can tell him, babe. I'm not trying. 
Try not to get angry. <sighs> Tell him anything. This is not the first time you've pulled that from a presentation before. You pulled that from one before and he was perfectly fine with it. So I don't see what the issue is. Your boss was fine with it the last time you did this. Yeah. But that was because it was my mother's barrier. And there was no possible thing that would make me not to be available for her barrier. That's perfect. Tell him that it's your grandmother's barrier or someone from your family's barrier. Give him any good excuse, okay? All I know is that you cannot be there for that presentation, okay? You pulled that from a presentation before. He was fine with it. So what's this issue? It's not an issue. Why are you making it an issue? Tosca, why can't I? I want to head this presentation. I stand a chance of making a whole lot of money for my company. Please don't even make me to pull out of this, please. Okay? Okay, there's a misunderstanding. There's, I, it's so obvious there's a misunderstanding. I'm not telling you to pull out. I'm not asking you to pull out. I'm commanding you as the head of this house to pull out. And that's it. You don't have any other option. You lie. You lie, Oscar. You see this your head of house title of a thing? It lies between the four walls of this house. I will head that presentation. Nobody will stop me. Not even you. Come to think of it. Are you threatened by me? Yes! Or are you scared I will win you hands down in this presentation? You mean threatened by you? Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Oh. I've been in this real estate business before you started. I've been making money way before you started making money. Or that even this company that you're going on about company, my company, my boss, my boss. It's me that got you this job. So what are you saying? Yes. You're not making sense. <laughs> How can I be threatened by you? What kind of insult is that? Yes, you got the job for me. That's because I'm doing good with my work. Yes. If I'm not good, I will not be promoted. I'm promoted. I'm promoted. Yes. Tell me, Oscar. Are you jealous of me? Huh? Me jealous of you? Yes, you are. You're sadly mistaken. Sadly mistaken. You're going the wrong way. See, this direction you're going is the wrong direction. Well, for your information, I am not backing down from this presentation. If the heat is too much for you, then you back down! That's reached to this level. You want to headbutt me to tell me to back down? Eh? Onto what? How can you show me such disrespect? How can you be so selfish to ask me to back down for more that money? The game is on. Okay. The game is on. I see how you're playing. The game is on. We shall see! We are seeing already! Nonsense! And I'm winning, you know. So you go. See you soon, You've never seen money before they see more money. Start into their head. Is it because you bought car? Eh? That's more car. I can wipe my ass with that car. She's told me straight to my face, point blank, that she's not dropping the presentation and that she's going to beat me. That she's going to beat me. <sighs> Oscar. You see, I told you that it has already started happening. The presentation was still on and it don't happen, right? Look at it. You cost it. You're the one who gave her that hand to be talking to you anyhow. Next thing, she doesn't have respect for you anymore and that is why she had that effort trip to tell you to your face that she's going to beat you. I was shocked. I was shocked she could say that to my face. The gods. You see? Hey. Let me tell you. See what you do. You need to work extremely hard to win that contract. That is the only way. You need to work hard to win that contract and put her to shame so that she will respect you. You are so right with that. Because oh. if I lose that contract, imagine me losing that contract. I'll look like a fool in my own house. How am I supposed to live in my house looking out across to somebody that humiliated me? What are you thinking? I have to win that contract. Yeah, think. Think fast. Drink up. Hmm. And actually, you have to, I guess, ladies,
what is this now? Uh uh. Let me come. What's the meaning of this one? Ife, I'm tired. My body is paining me from the work I do in the house. You know, I don't have anyone assisting me. And who else do you expect to be doing those things for you? Are you not the woman in this house? It is your responsibility to do those chores and still take care of our children. Ife, yes, it's my responsibility to take care of our children. But it's not my responsibility to do all the chores in the house all by myself. If I'm a human being now and I need help. Ah. And I'm sorry to disappoint you on this one. There is no house help. It is your responsibility and so be it. Now let me ask you. Did your mother have a house help when she was raising you? No, but... But what? Listen, my decision on this case is final. No house help in this house. Do you understand? And again, let me warn you. Let me just pretend that this thing you did this night didn't happen. Because if you try this next time, I promise you, I will kick you out of this room and you'll never come back to this room again. Try me. Try me. Beware of the people that you call friends Because only your friends knows all your secrets Beware of the people in your circle Because only them know how you make your bed Beware of the people that you let in your life oh. Because they may hate you, pretending they love you. Beware of the people that you let in your circle. Because some may hate you, pretending they love you. But they are enemies, enemies in disguise. All they give is wrong advice. But they want you to feel otherwise, that they are for you. They are for you, enemies, enemies in disguise. All they give is wrong advice, but they want you to feel otherwise. That they are for you, they are for you. Yeah. They are wearing a mask so you cannot see their face. See their face. They are putting up an attitude so you don't know who they are. Who they are. They are wearing a mask so you cannot see their face. See their face. They are putting up an attitude so you don't know who they are. That's what we call wolf. In sheep's clothing. Oh my god. They will always put an attitude. So you would think they have your good at heart. That's what we call Victoria. Wolf. Victoria. Uh, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Victoria! Mm. Wake up. Just stand up. Mm, please give me a little more time. Just 20 minutes I'll be home. Come and get off that bed. What are you saying? Don't look like your father. Why are you spewing nonsense? Stand up! Listen up. Listen, listen, listen. You have 10 minutes to get into the bathroom, freshen up, and dress up for school. We're already behind time. Did you hear what I said? Jimmy. Did you hear what I said? Jimmy. 10 minutes! 10 minutes! 10 minutes! Jimmy, 10 minutes! 10 minutes. That always gives me 30 minutes. I'm not now. your father! <laughs> I want to sleep, I want to sleep. I'm going to, I'm going to sleep, I'm going to sleep. Let me dress up, I'm going to sleep again. <laughs> your father is a very wicked man. Can you imagine? Why didn't he wake us up? No, why didn't he do that? Just look at the time we are leaving. Look at the time we are leaving the house all because of him. Mom, maybe he just forgot to wake us up. Nothing else. Mm. How can he forget? No, it's not possible. He has never done that before. You know what I think? I think this is a deliberate act. Ah, yes. no, Mom, I don't think so. My dad is not like that. I think, me, I think that he was just, um, he was rushing and then he totally... Will you keep quiet? What do you know? Do you know your father more than I do? In fact, you don't talk. Except I ask you to talk. Am I understood? Am I understood? Yes, mom. Better. Oscar. Oscar. 
Oscar will definitely do my own Anna. Except you will not come back to that house, so. Except you will not come back, just remember where you are. Because you see me, I will definitely revenge. Me. <laughs> you did this morning? First of all, when you call my name, don't shout it. We're in close proximity. We will try to ask, 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 ask. Mm. What did I do this morning? I don't, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Why didn't you wake Victoria and I up? Like, you always do it. Ever since we got married, you always wake us up. So why didn't you wake us up? Besides, you know that I'm supposed to go to work and I'm not a morning person. See the entitlement. So I'm supposed to, I'm your personal alarm clock. My sole purpose in this life is to wake you up. You said it there, I used to, but I'm not doing it again. I'm not waking you up again. It's not my job. Okay, if you want to wake up on time and go to work and wake up your child to go to school, like every other woman does. Other mothers do it. It's not just you. Set alarm clock. It's really? easy. Yes, easy, yes. Really? Really, yes. So that's what you're trying to say? That's exactly what I'm trying to say. Okay, no problem. Yeah, no problem. No problem. No problem. I'm trying to go to sleep now, actually. You will go to sleep? Yeah, I'm going to sleep. Oh, you're not sleeping because we're not done with this conversation. Okay, now you talk to yourself. No sleep for the weekend. What do you mean? You want to sleep? I'm sleeping. In this house? You want to sleep? No, I'll sleep in your house. Okay, you think you're the only wicked person, right? I will show you what it means to be wicked. Alright, don't stop on my head. Listen. I will show you what it means to be wicked. Mm. What are you doing? Come on, come on. What's this? You will freeze before morning. Huh? I never need it, sir. Oh, you don't need it? I don't need you. it. You! It's not you the only thing. Duvet. It's not the only thing on this bed I don't need. Okay. It's what? not the only thing in oh, what this bed again? I don't need. What again? What else is on this bed eh. that's useful? What Look at this one. You are the one that is useless. Yes. Oh, oh, Because I'm you're useless. a wicked man. You know what? That is why you're useless. I wish I froze before I knelt down and proposed to you. Look at this one. I wish I come froze on, before I proposed. Shut up, I'm not sleeping here again. Where are you going to? I'm going to the living room. Shut up, you! Stop shouting now! Leave my room! Your child is trying to see. I said leave my room! Your child is trying to see. Leave my room! Your child is trying to see. See how inconsiderate Oscar, you are. Oscar, I said leave You're my so room! You're so inconsiderate. Oh, you're running away. I'm not you're, running away again. You're running away from your fears. Which problem? Oh. Which, which fears? Oh. Eh? Which fears? Mm, look at him. Well, you're right, Shall Look at you. Mm. You're a fear. Uh-huh. And it's a fear come true. Mm. Nightmare come true. Mm. I was praying God, please, let this not be a mistake. I want to marry this woman. Who just is a mistake? Look at you. Mistake! Disgrace. You're, you're a disgrace to my room. Oscar! What? Oscar, what is it now? That's what? You're Elon Musk now. You're Jeff Bezos. You can afford toothpaste. You can afford many things. New cars, new everything. Go and buy your own toothpaste. Okay? I'm not, I'm not buying toothpaste for you again. Oh, I see. Yes. So it's all about that? It's all about that and many more. Wait, oh. This is the beginning. I thought you said you're the head of the house. Or are you not the head of the house again? You gave yourself head of the house title. So you need to provide all my needs for me. Oh, well, you thought I was head of the house. Now you're thoughting that I'm head of the house. When I asked you to drop down from the presentation, you didn't think that I was head of the house. Now you're thinking I'm head of the house. What kind of rubbish is that? Eh? Mm. Do not go against me. It's disrespectful. Yet you're going against me with that presentation. Oh, I see where your pain is coming from. You see my pain? Yes, you're pained. But let me shock you. Uh, I will not back down from that presentation. Do not back down. It's okay. I'm still going to win. But you will not see this toothpaste. That's my own. Go and buy your own toothpaste. Oh, Oscar, how am I supposed to brush my teeth and go to work now? What kind of a man is this? Oscar! How am I supposed to go to work? I'm... You want me to go to work with my mother? Oscar! Silent. Did anybody die? Sorry. I'm just asking because. No. Can you eat your food? Hmm. Eat your food. Are you done eating? Are you done? No. I'm asking you a question. Are you done eating? No. So why are you talking? Hmm? Nothing. Okay. Eat your food, okay?
What's going on? Um, Alpha, your wife is still. Is she still going ahead with that? Yeah, she's definitely going ahead with it. So she's not changing her mind for anybody. <laughs> well, your wife, she's stubborn, shall. Hmm. Stubborn is an understatement. I'm telling you. I mean, she's not the kind of wife you tell her what to do. She will bite your head off. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, wow. Hello. <laughs> oh, no, me. I said juice, not water. Juice. I'm sorry. I thought you said I should bring water. <laughs> Just take this out of this place. I said, go. <laughs> Just keep on annoying someone all, all, all the time. Ah, uh, Effie. Is that your wife? That's your wife. Uh, you're sure? What sort of question is that? Didn't I introduce her to you earlier as my wife? No, because when you're talking to her, I don't know. Maybe she's your maid or I don't know. Your gatesman's daughter or something. I don't know. What's wrong with the way I spoke to her? Everything is wrong with the way you spoke to her. Look at the way you're talking to her like she's a maid. Come on, you don't talk to a, someone you're married to like this now. That's your wife. Uh -uh, that's wrong. That's totally wrong. Oscar, this is my home. This is how I run my home. And it has been working for me. Listen, I don't do all that you men do out there. All those nonsense, I don't do it. At the end of the show, your wife is raising shoulder with you, trying to tell you what to do and what not to do. Just like the way your wife do. I don't do that. I just made an observation. Okay, it doesn't look right. Oscar, let's talk about something else, Havek. Mm. Alpha, mm. how do you feel it will be? Uh, I don't know. I think I'll be going to the house because uh, my daughter is supposed to help her do her homework. Ah. Yes. Hey, V, my princess. How are you doing? I'm fine. Very good afternoon. Good afternoon to you too. Uh, Daddy, I came to remind you mm. about the school excursion. It's next week Friday. About the money. Oh, that? Yes. Why don't you ask your mother? Hmm? She'll give you. You know, she's a billionaire now, if you didn't know. She has a lot of money, too much money. Yeah, so it shouldn't be an issue for her. She'll give you. Daddy... Ask your mother. She'll give you, okay? Don't worry about it. Okay. She's super rich. Like Forbes list. So, she'll sort you out. Go. Ask your mother, okay? Okay? She has more than enough. Much, 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 much more than enough. Okay? Okay. V. So? You okay? Uh, yes, I'm fine. Okay, ask her. She'll give you. Yes. Come in. Oh, Mom. Mom, good afternoon. How are you, sweetheart? I'm fine. I came to remind you about the money for the excursion in my school. It's next week. Since when did it become my duty to pay your school bills? What about your dad? I went to him. Mm -hmm. I went to him and I asked him for the money. She said I should come and meet you. He said that? Yes. But why would he say such a thing? I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, how much is the money? Oh, oh, never mind. Never mind. I'll give you the money. Okay, You know, your father is just being bitter. He's just stingy at the moment. I'll give you, okay? Thank you, Mom. Is there any other thing? No, thank you, Mom. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Let me go. Oscar, this is your new style. Eh? Hmm. Mm. Stingy Men Association. I can see my new car. You see this right here? This is German engineering. Wow, Lenny. Yes. Yes, I got it. Ready? <laughs> you like it, right? Yes, it's very beautiful. 
It's not just beautiful. It's obviously the most beautiful car in this house. Of course. Obviously. <laughs> if you look at the other tents that we have, this one is the main tent. Do you understand? But yes. it's also the most expensive oh. car in this house. It's more expensive than that. That and that. Oh. Do you get me? With that, if you sell two of it, you still can buy this. This new car that... This is your mom's new car. Ooh. Sell it two times. You cannot buy you one buy of this. this. You cannot buy one of it when you sell two of this. Jeez. That's why we have to celebrate this one. Wow. Do you understand? It's very big, right? It's very big. Both financially, the cost is big. The engine capacity is big. The tire is big. The tire is big. The rims are big. Wow. The respect it gives, it gets you on the streets. And it's Mercedes Benz. Big. Ooh. Do you understand? Yes. yes. This is the big boys league. Eh? Not the small girls league. We have a new big car. You know, it wasn't necessary for you to buy that car. Your former car is still very much new. Yeah. It's obvious you're just trying to devalue my new car. Yeah, I know you're in competition with me. So that to look like that thing you bought is bigger than mine. Oscar, Oscar, you can continue laughing. Just keep on laughing. But I want you to know that he who laughs last, laughs the best. Nonsense. Mm. Hey. Ta -da -da. Today is such a good day. Today is a beautiful day. Guess what? I just bought a new house. <laughs> um, uh huh. <laughs> you can take a good look at it. Look at it so you see the price I bought the house before they will think I'm lying. <laughs> oh, you don't want to take it. Anyway, I will drop it in the room. Because I know the husband I married. I know that one day you must be tempted to look at it. <laughs> Oscar. Oscar, take a good look at me. You should be grateful to God that you married a hardworking woman. <laughs> I'm every man's prayer point. That is why my kind is rare. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I am into big things. Henceforth, I want you to be calling me Big Beverly. <laughs> Na -na -na. Big Beverly. time has come for us to split the bills of this house since there are two heads of the house obviously okay there are two people wearing the trousers wearing the pants in this house so we're going to split the bill oscar what are you talking about, talking I, about I, I, I don't bills. understand you don't understand yes when did that one start it starts today today okay you're lucky we don't have to pay for rent i already paid for this house i bought it for us selfless leo or like some people that are not selfless I bought this house, we don't have to pay for rent, but there are some other house-related expenses that we have to take care of. Okay, so from today, you start paying for electricity bill. Oh, electricity what? Bill. Me? Yes. Please say something else. What do you mean say something else? Say something else. Remember that one. You're paying for electricity bill from now on. Yeah, calm down, no. Calm down. There's some other bills that we have to talk about. There's house cleaning and there's security bill. Okay, so I'll take on the security bill. Okay? You take on the house cleaning bill. Oscar, you know all this nonsense you're talking about, they're not just making sense to me. Victoria's school fees, I'll keep on paying it, okay? But every other school-related expenses, like excursions, 
like amendments or purchase of new school uniforms or borrowing or buying of books, any other thing that concerns school. It's your responsibility now. Oh. Yes. So it has now become my responsibility. So I'm now the man of the house, yeah? Oh. Yes. Listen, let me tell you. My money is my money and my money alone. Your money is our money. Interesting. Hmm. First thing you said, mm. you're not a man, Abby. So yes. you're, not, you're not the head of the house. That's you that said it to not me. Eh? Secondly, your money is your money, and my money is our money. Yes! And I'm telling you to back down for the presentation. Let me get this contract. It's going to benefit everybody. Because what if it gets to me, it gets to everybody. But if it gets to you, it's, it's in a full stop with that. No, you should back down. Back down! Let me get it to the house. Do you know what I start to gain? Do you know what I start to gain? Okay, how can you be so selfish? You are so selfish. You're turning me into a man. I'm not. Why am I even shouting in my own house? You're selfish. You know what? You're selfish. Uh, yes, you are. You are jealous, and you're afraid of my capabilities. Okay, I see that this is getting childish now. I cannot be here arguing with a small girl. Do you understand? I was a grandfather in this business before you entered, and it's been I opened the door and let you in. Never forget that. So I will not be here. I'm insulted. No, you are should you? turn to ancestor. You should turn to ancestor. Ask a for yourself. Listen, okay. let me try. I'm not paying any bills. Check the meter. I, I'm not paying any bills. Check the meter. I am not paying any bills. Look at this man. Let's Look at this man. It's free. Every other school thing is you. Oscar, I will not try it. And don't forget the house thing. Oscar, I will not try it in this house. I will not try it. Me, I should spend my money. What happens to your money? What nonsense. Me, spend my money in this house. It's not possible. Dad. Hmm, V. What's this? Dad, please help me with this assignment. I'm, I'm confused and I don't know what to do. Hmm? Please help me with this assignment. Is oh, no, no, I'm busy. I'm busy right now, okay? Um, I'm sorry. You know, I'm getting ready for a very important presentation at work, you know? So, I'm fully focused on that, so I'm sorry. I'm busy. But, Dad, please, it won't take time. Just. Victoria! I'm busy. Okay? Why don't you ask your mother? Okay. Assignment. I want you to help me. This one. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really busy at the moment. Okay. Oh, mommy, it won't take time. Choose this one. If you just tell me how, I will. I will just. Victoria, I'm sorry. Okay, you know what? Just go and meet your dad. See, I have this project that I'm really struggling to meet up with. Okay. Uh -huh. Just go and meet your dad. Victoria, I'm sorry. I can't help you right now. I can't help you. I'm very busy. Okay. Go and meet your dad. Just go. You don't want to help me to do my assignment. Go and meet your dad now. Please. Okay, please. Next time I'll help you. Just go. I'm very busy. Okay? Don't worry. Next time I'll help you out. Oh? Do you hear me? Meet Just help myself. Go and meet your daddy. Be a good girl, okay? What did you say you want to tell me? Please, I need to sleep with faster about it. I want to tell you about... About what? I want to start working. Hmm? I'm tired of being a housewife. I love my children, I love taking care of them, but sometimes I'm not happy. I want to do more with my life. That's why I've decided that I want to start up a business. <laughs> oh, no, I mean you. Business. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> but who 
much sauce in it. Do you know you are, you are very wicked? Yes, you are very, very wicked. How? You want me, a fee, to count my hard earned money and give you that you want to start a business. The business is you and I know that it will, it will surely fail because there's nothing in this your brain. It will not fail. Shut up. Let me, let me finish. What do you mean? Let me ask you. What do you know about business? I'm asking you. What do you know about business? Is there anything in you? You, you. Is there anything here? This your brain. There's nothing in this your brain. It's empty. You're not even mumu. Now let me ask you. Can you count money? <laughs> Have you counted money before? You want me to give you money so you can start a business? There's no business. I'm not giving you any money to start any business because I know you cannot handle business. Or no, man, you cannot do business. You just want to waste my money. And it's not possible. I'm not giving you. Listen, the only thing I know you can do very well is take care of this house and take care of the kicks. Finish. And you need to stick to it. Nothing X. Do you understand? Be useful. Listen, let today be the first and last to talk about business in this house. I don't have any money to waste. Rubbish. Beware of the people that you let in your circle. It's empty brain. Because some may hate you, pretending they love you. But they are enemies, enemies in disguise. All the give is wrong. Mom! Yeah. Mom, you're not prepared yet. Prepared for what? Today is Saturday. Mm hmm. Have you forgotten that we always have our girls' day out on a Saturday? <laughs> not for today. I'm very busy at the moment. Well, this is what you've been saying since you started preparing for this your presentation or project. You know, you no longer have time for me. Don't worry. Let me just finish up with this project. Hmm? Once I win, I will take you to anywhere you want to go to. Okay? No, no. We must go today. Oh, every week you'll be telling me next week, next week. We must go today. Uh. That means you will go alone. I'm busy at the moment. Don't you get it? Me, just today. Why will you please for this thing all your Just life? allow me to focus on this, okay? In fact, let's not go to the let's not have any girls' day party again. <laughs> ah, look at this little girl. She won't even understand. She doesn't understand what this project means to me. <laughs> Please. Beware of the people that you call friends. Because only your friends knows all your secrets. Beware of the people in your circle. Because only them know how you make your bed. Beware of the people that you let in your life, oh. Because they may hate you, pretending they love you. Beware of the people that you let in your circle. Because some may hate you, pretending they love you. But they are enemies, enemies in disguise. All they give is wrong advice. But they want you to feel otherwise. That they are for you, they are for you. Enemies, enemies in disguise. All they give is wrong advice. But they want you to feel otherwise. That they are for you, they are for you. Yeah. They are wearing a mask so you cannot see their face. See their face. They are putting up an attitude so you don't know who they are. Who they are. They are wearing a mask so you cannot see their face. See their face. They are putting up an attitude so you don't know who they are. That's what we call wolf in sheep's clothing. They will always put an attitude So you will think they have your good at heart That's what we call wolf In sheep's clothing They will always put an attitude So you think they have your good at heart The closer your friends, the more vulnerable you will be You have to know the ones to keep close and the ones to let go 
There's a thin line between friends and enemies You have to know the ones to keep close And the ones to let go No, no Don't let anybody play you No, no Let nobody take advantage of your heart Of your heart Of your heart Of your heart But they are enemies, enemies in disguise All they give is wrong advice But they want you to feel otherwise That they are for you, they are for you Enemies, enemies in disguise All they give is wrong advice But they want you to feel otherwise That they are for you They are for you, eh? They are wearing a mask so you cannot see their face. See their face. <coughs> they are putting up an attitude so you don't know. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? I think it will help you win the presentation. I'm winning the presentation. There's no need for you to even go. You're wasting your time. You wish. I'm not wishing. It's reality. I'm winning, and you know that. Uh -huh. I don't know that actually. I don't. I don't. What are you looking at? I don't have your time. You see bag you're carrying to go to presentation. It's none of your business. Wait. Who's going to take me to school? Mom. Dad. So how did you go? I hope you won the presentation. Hmm. Nope. What? There was a third company involved. Beverly and I were so consumed with competing against each other, we didn't even fight on the fact that there could be a third company involved. I felt like a fool when that company won the contract. I'm... Guy, your wife caused this. If she had stepped down the way you asked her, 
this thing wouldn't have happened. You, I know, would have concentrated to win that presentation. But all the same, it's a bygone. The contract has come and gone. So forget it. Better ones are coming. Okay. Hmm. Just drink up. Next one, I'm sure you win it. It's okay. You cost it! Me? Yes, you did! How did I cost it? Eh? No, tell me, how did I cost it? How's it my fault that your presentation was rubbish? Oh, really? Yes, it was! Was yours any better? Oh, it was. Hmm? It was definitely better. You made me lose focus. That's the only Enough! reason. Enough! I'm tired of you both always fighting. I'm tired! Presentation this, presentation that. I'm tired! You both are now enemies. You're always arguing. I... I don't even... You don't care about me anymore. I don't matter to you. It's as if I don't exist in this house to you both. Uh, it's not what you think. It's not that. You know it's not true. It's not what you're saying. V, you know I love you. But it's true. It's true, Dad. It's true. You're not different. In fact, I don't know who you both are. I don't know who you are. I just want my parents back. Ah, V. V, come on. V, wait. V, please open the door. V, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I apologize. It's not going to happen again. Just open the door, okay? V, I promise we won't fight again. Just open the door. <laughs> You're lying. You're lying to me. You're lying. We're not. I'm not lying. Please open the door. V, I'm not lying, okay? I'm, I'm okay. Okay, just open the door. I promise everything is going to be okay. I'm, I'm not going to fight again. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Come here. <sighs> okay, babe, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm the one that started all of this. You know, I don't know what came over me. I'm normally not like this, you know. I'm normally not the type to be worried about you winning representation over me, you know. Like, I normally see your win as my win, our win. You know, I push you to do things on your own. I push you to make your own money. You know, I support you like every other good husband should, you know. I just guess I uh, started taking advice from the wrong person. What do you mean by you started taking advice from the wrong person? Okay, you know that new friend I made, I told you about, um, F.A. Yes, yes, I remember. Okay, well, um, he's the one that pushed me to do all of this, like. What? Yeah, I don't know. He said that if I kept on encouraging you to make money, that one day you'd be richer than me, and you'd stop respecting me as the head of the house, and might even leave me for a richer person that it happened to his friends. He's seen it happen over and over again, you know. It just got into my head and... <sighs> yeah. Why would he say such a thing? And why would you even believe him? Babe, you know I'm not that kind of a person. <sighs> why would I even think of to disrespect my own husband? Even if I make more money than you. Babe, why would I even think of to divorce you? Come on, babe, you should know me now. You should know I can't do such a thing. I know, I know you wouldn't do that, you know. It's just that I don't know why I started believing him, you know. I was just stupid. I was being dumb. As in, uh, it doesn't even uh, make sense to me thinking back now, you know. It's fine, it's fine. 
You know, everything that happened is not entirely your fault. I also caused it. I guess I was over ambitious and I forgot that family comes first. Esos and my friend was right when she said I was so defensive and ready to fight. Babe, I messed up. We both messed up. Okay. Babe? Yeah. I am so sorry and I promise this will never happen again. Okay? I promise to support you at all times and never compete. Okay? Same here. I'm sorry too. You know, it's not only V that I missed us. Like, I missed us like crazy. I missed you. Baby, I missed you. I missed my sweet husband. Yeah, I missed my lovely wife. I missed your touch. I love you so much, baby. I love you too. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Please, Honor, I'm sorry. I'm so please forgive me. I'm sorry. Efe, sorry. Leave this back or I will do something that you and I will both regret. Sorry, Honor, please. Wait, now. Wait, wait. V? V? Look at me. We're both really sorry for everything. Okay? We apologize officially to Queen V. Yes, we promise not to fight again. We are truly sorry. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. I don't believe you. Why don't you believe us? We are truly sorry. Okay? Mm -hmm. Dad. Yes, dear. Do you promise to wake me up as you always do? Call me your V and take me to school every day. You're always going to be my V forever. There's nothing that's going to change that. Do you get me? And yes, I promise. Okay, hand to God, I promise. Okay? Mom. Yes, baby. Do you promise we'll continue going to our girls' day out? And you continue to be the sweet <laughs> mom you've always been? I promise. I promise I'll continue funding the girls' day out as well. <laughs> <laughs> Without enjoying the fun, but that's not what we're talking about now. I'm sorry. So. We're sorry. <laughs> now, do you both promise that we'll continue to be a happy family without fighting and quarreling. We, yes, we promise. promise. Okay? I forgive you. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come thank here. you. Come. <laughs> I love you. Love you too. Love you. Too. <laughs> I miss this. <laughs> <laughs> My wife has left me. She's gone. In fact, she's insisting of me signing the divorce papers. What did you do that made her leave you? I don't know. You don't know? 
or you're playing dumb. Well, you know why she left you now? You've been a terrible husband to your wife. See how you were talking to her when I was here? Like she's your maid. You didn't even care that I was here, like a visitor was here. You were talking to her like that in front of me. You were talking to her like she was the dirt under your shoe. Why would she leave you? Or is it your love for respect? Your thirst? Always thirsting for respect. Head of the house, head of the house, head of the house. You almost used that thing to ruin my own marriage. You were giving me horrible advice, bro. You influenced me negatively. I almost crashed my marriage. Thank God it didn't happen. Oscar, I was just trying to prevent you from losing your wife. But you lost your own now. You're trying to prevent me from losing mine, but you lost yours. What happened there? I don't, it doesn't add up to me. I don't understand. Huh? You're the worst of the worst, bro. You treat women like they're trash. You shouldn't, like, you should have the worst type of wife. She stayed too long. You don't deserve her. Yeah, she stayed way too long. You don't, like, I was short self that she stayed till this time. Oscar, why are you saying this? What do you mean saying what? You're my friend. You're supposed to be consoling me. What? Saying all this. No, 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 no. That's miscommunication. Wait, look me in the eye. We're not friends. Oscar. We're not friends. We were. That's past tense. In the past, we were friends. Until you tried to ruin my life. Really? If I lose my wife, I lose my life. You tried to ruin my life. What kind of rubbish choice, really? Yes, really. Don't call me again. Okay, as you were coming down, I was blocking your number. That's what I was doing. Do not call me again. I don't want to see you in my house or in my office anywhere. Do, we are done. Do not call me again. I don't Oscar. need you to come and ruin my family. I'm gone. Oscar! What? Yes, that's my name. Nonsense. Don't call me. What? Everybody has deserted me all of a sudden. Everybody hates me now. <sighs> if you brought this upon yourself. <laughs> wow! I've lost my wife out of my foolishness. I mean, that, if it, what, what were you thinking? Hi, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Jesus save me. <sighs> yeah, babe, you were saying. Baby, I I said I have an idea. Okay. What kind of idea? You know, we are very good with this real estate thing. Mm -hmm. If not the best. See, we're the best. Now, why be humble? <laughs> There's no need to be humble, babe. We are the best. Every time we focus, we didn't focus last time. But every time we focus, we are the best. Hands down. Yeah. You know, we can actually team up together and have our own real estate company. Our own real estate company. Yes. Huh. Baby, you know that won't be easy, okay? It takes a lot of funds, a lot of effort. I know. It takes a lot of funds and all of that, but it's a gradual process. I'm not saying we should rush into it. Mm -hmm. Honey, look at it this way. Instead of us to be working for different companies and help their business to grow, we can team up with our own ideas and contribution and create our own dynasty. You know, that's a great, great idea. That's wonderful. You know, that's a great idea. I don't know why I didn't think about that earlier. That's my brain working. That is your brain working. You have yeah. the two big Bs, okay? <laughs> you have the beauty, mm -hmm. and even more importantly, the brains. <laughs> Baby, we need to work so hard. Yes, we do. In achieving this. Yes, we're going to work hard, okay? But first, we celebrate. Okay, so what do you want to drink? I'm going to get you a drink. Whatever <sighs> drink you want, even if it's not in the house, I'll make it appear. <clears throat> to drink you. you want, uh, ooh. <laughs> What's drink me? Yes. Where are the people that what you are you saying? <laughs> uh, please stand up. Because baby. only your friends knows all your <laughs> secrets. I shall lead you to the prom. <laughs> Where are the people in your circle? Because only them know how you make your bed. Beware of the people that you let in your life, oh Because they may hate you, pretending they love you Beware of the people that you let in your circle Because some may hate you, pretending they love you But they are enemies, enemies in disguise All they give is wrong advice but they want you to feel otherwise That they are for you, they are for you Enemies, enemies in disguise All they give is wrong advice 
people they want you to feel otherwise that they are for you they are for you hey. they are wearing a mask so you cannot see their face see their face they are putting up an attitude so you don't know who they are who they are they are wearing a mask